Hi, Mr. VPN here, and today we're going to take a look at how to connect to a VPN server in Canada. Now, there's actually a lot of Canadian TV and some Canadian websites that are unavailable, even in the U.S. So you really do need a Canadian IP sometimes. Even if you're in Canada and you already have a Canadian IP, it can be helpful to connect to a private IP address that's in Canada, which you can do through a VPN. And that's what we're going to do today. So the one that I'm using today is called Viper VPN. This is one of the ones that I use most often because they have very nice apps. I use it on my iPhone and my Mac. But they do also have Android and Windows apps available as well. So you can see there's a number of other country locations that will also be available to you in all the packages. But we're going to focus on the Canadian one today. So to connect to the Viper VPN uh, VPN servers in Canada, we're going to open up our location, drop down menu, select Canada, double click, and we're already on our way. And that's it. We've already got a Canadian IP just like that. And that's even using the stronger encryption, the 256-bit SSL. Canada, Canada, Canada. Okay, and we're done. Now we can access uh, sites like CBC. <laughs> this is not the website I wanted. <laughs> Whatever the Canadian TV station is, I thought it was CBC. Whatever, I'm not gonna look for it. You know what? So you know what? What I'm talking about. Yeah, so that's how to connect to a Canadian VPN server. You can see the internet now thinks that we are located in Toronto. Now about the VPN packages, the Viper VPN Basic is going to be good for people that just want to stream TV. You know, you have a, a laptop or a desktop and you want to stream directly there or stream on your phone or, or use AirPlay from your Apple TV. That's going to be good for the uh, the basic package because it's going to be a little bit cheaper. You're not really worried about the encryption protocols and you just need the one connection. And it's going to work on, you know, your normal devices. Now, Pro is going to have two simultaneous connections. So that's going to be if maybe there's two people that want to do streaming at the same time. More likely, it's going to be a person with a computer and a phone that they want to keep connected to the VPN at all times. I'm thinking it's going to be someone who is maybe interested more in the security and privacy aspects of the VPN. But also, you know, when I lived in China, it was a real pain in the butt to always be on the Chinese IP and then sometimes switch to US IP. And, you, you know, when I first got started, I would, I would just use the VPN when I needed it. And by the end of it, I just left it on all the time, especially if you have the equipment that can handle it. I mean, you know, I st this was five years ago that I was in China. So I was on a very basic laptop and I didn't really have the speed and, and whatnot. But you can see this is running very smoothly. There's uh, no issues with connecting to websites. It runs fast. So I would just leave it running in the background. Anyway, point of that is if you just want to not even hassle with switching it on and switching it off, you can also get two simultaneous connections. And it's not that much more per month. It's about a dollar or something, dollar fifty more per month. Okay, and that's about it. Now there is a three-day free trial for all, all packages, and I'll leave you the link to that below so you can check that out and see if this works for what you're trying to get it to work for. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.